Welcome back to Project Zomboid, folks. As I mentioned last time, well, uh, we're going to start a new game. We uh, unfortunately lost to Devin the Burglar in an attempt to, quite fittingly, actually rob an art museum. So I, I feel like Devin went out in a way that was, you know, burglar-like, right? You know, he, he was like, well, maybe we'll retire. So let me, let me re-sum up the story of Devin. The zombie outbreak started while he was in the middle of burglaring a house. And he decided to just, instead of take things that could get him money and riches, he just took things that could help him survive. From there, he started looting the rest of the town, and then tried to go to the prison where his buddy was uh, in jail. However, he found the prison overran and knew he could not get in to find his buddy. So he went north of town, found a nice little... A uh, farm area that had a bunch of food stocked in it that was growing stale and everything. But he did find a way to garden and stuff like that. But he had also found a map talking about preserving uh, history by getting art pieces from the Museum of Louisville. And that there was a car with loot and uh, weapons nearby that could help out in clearing the area. So he decided, one last job, I'm gonna go and rob the art museum. So he goes through Louisville, makes it there, and unfortunately meets his demise as he tries to clear the area around the art museum before even setting a single foot in. And that was Devin the Burglar's Tale, everyone. So uh, before we begin, I do want to talk about all the mods that I've installed since last stream. I basically went through the first. 15, 20 pages of like the most recommended or downloaded mods, I forget which it was, and just downloaded the ones that trip my fancy, like a Dodge Challenger, uh, an actual fire engine, just to add more lore. Uh, we got the uh, the Humvee, we have being able to, uh, well I guess that one I already had, but weight reduction for batteries, uh, propane torch fix was done. We have uh, Adrenaline, which is if I get really startled, it'll cancel out tiredness, which, you know, makes sense. We also have auto star trailers, which add a bunch of different trailers to the game. Um, biofuel, we can use crops to make fuel. Probably won't do that in this playthrough specifically. Uh, cat's reading mod, you can read faster, especially while sitting, it speeds up reading. We then have, uh, let's see, what else is new here? Disable welcome message, which doesn't matter for you guys. Uh, Disassemble containers with items, meaning we can take apart items or things that have items inside and the items will just fall on the ground, which is really nice. Um, easy packing, we can like pack together things. So like if we have a bunch of nails or water, we can like pack them together into like things that'll weigh less so we can carry more stuff. Uh, fanny pack balancing makes the fanny pack a little bit better. You can see what it does here. The, the weight of the fanny pack itself is like 0.1 pound. You can craft them. It reduces the weight of items inside by 80%. You know, stuff like that. Um, let's see. Expanded helicopter events. Um, you can find crashed helicopters. They'll drop supplies. You know, that kind of stuff. Which seems kind of neat. We have... Faster construct and transfer. Which is, uh, I can just construct stuff faster. 10 times speed, which is nice if we're building a base because it just gets tedious having to like click build and then fast forward time by like five and then stop it and all that um you can test to see if you're infected but that doesn't really matter too much for us this is a trunk capacity overlap fix um it looks like it only really matters if the capacity goes over uh, like four digits but since we have uh, another mod that adds semi-trucks that I just downloaded, I thought it might be necessary. I don't know. Uh, gas weight reduced. We have that stuff, that stuff, that stuff. Let me think. Um, it means I can actually open menus and look at stuff while the game's paused. I won't be able to necessarily do stuff in them, but I can at least, like, look at stuff, right? Uh, Louisville just adds the spawns. Maintenance uh, improved means the higher my maintenance skill goes up, the better I can repair stuff. Um, more starting locations, I think, adds, like, other areas you can spawn in. 
Uh, we added an RV interior, also works for like other interiors for other larger vehicles. Um, kind of that stuff. Raining clears blood, so if there's like a bunch of blood on the ground and it rains, it'll clear out that blood, which is nice. Uh, reduced wood weight. We had the 50%, but I decided to reduce it down to 25% of the weight. Uh, reload all magazines. This one's going to be great because you can just right click on a magazine and click uh, this thing here, which is reload all bullets into all magazines, which is just great. We have the Schizophrenia trait, which adds a trait for Schizophrenia, which I thought would add a little bit of fun to the game. We then have our reskill journal, sleep on it, spear traps, which are cool. You uh, basically dig a grave, and you can put wooden spears that you make into the grave, and it'll kill a zombie if the zombie walks over it. It'll also kill you if you walk over it, so don't do that. Um, spears bind with uh, leather strips or twine. You can make LL spears like that. Uh, this one's just compatibility for polearm weapons, which you don't have. Um, let's see. Here. We already had ammo crafting before. We already had this one, which I don't know why it's disabled. I, re I thought I re-enabled everything, but I guess I missed some. Uh, visible generators of corpses. This is the, the semi-truck mod I was talking about. It adds this semi-truck. Um, I did not add the water trailer or that stuff, because I didn't have those mods to install. A weapon condition indicator we had. Working mask, which means if I have like a gas mask on, for example, I won't get uh, nauseous from being around zombies and, and stuff like that. Uh, we added the Zuper Cart mod, which adds carts and trolleys to the game, so like inside of a mall I might find a cart that I can load stuff into and push it around, you know. Um, and then I think everything else is just as usual. Just a bunch of libraries and stuff like that. So, those are the mods we're going to be using. We have to reload the LUA because Rice Lua, whatever you want to call it. Funnily enough, the screen you guys are seeing right now is not the screen I'm seeing. I'm seeing the actual main menu. You guys are still seeing the mod menu. Interesting. I guess we have to wait for it just to, uh, to load for a minute here. Also, I deleted all my saves, as you can probably tell, because the loading menus are, are gone. Uh, I feel like I wasn't going to go back to any of them, especially now that I've added mods, more mods anyway. Uh, and the ones that we dead-ended dead in. Was... So, today I was thinking we can start on some challenges, just to see how it goes. And I want to start with the, the first one, a really bad day. So, we're going to spawn out of the shower, fall badly, which means we're going to probably be injured. Uh, we're drunk, and have a nasty cold, and on top of that, the house is on fire. So we're going to have to find a way to get the hell out of there pretty quick. Now, I don't think I have any mods that added any, um, any things for us here. So do we want to have a profession? I think no, since we're having a bad day, it would make sense kind of lore-wise that we, uh, like, just got fired, like, that day, right? Or something like that. I think it makes sense. Um, let's really just kind of mess my guy up. So he's going to be all thumbs, clumsy, he's going to be cowardly, short-sighted, he's going to be a slow reader with a weak stomach, um, he's going to be really conspicuous and disorganized. Uh, let's, let's not have him be hard of hearing. He's he's having a bad day and he's clumsy. He's he's not like uh, deaf or anything like that. So he's gonna be more prone to illness. He's gonna be unlucky. Um, he's gonna be a restless sleeper since you know he's having a bad day. Schizophrenia, of course, because, you know, that that's going to be a really bad day. Because when he, you know, slipped and hurt himself or whatever, let's, let's say he, like, rattled something in his brain and uh, now he's a little bit schizophrenic, you know. And uh, since we uh, did injure ourselves, let's, let's also get the slow healer mod. So we have 56 points. Holy crap, can we recover from this? And we recover. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and get the strong modifier. Let's also go ahead and get thick skinned. That narrows us down to that. 
Biofuel master knows how to make biofuel and has the skills required to do so. I think we can just learn how to make it. But we don't have to actually get this, which is nice. Um, let's get athletic because we're probably going to be running around a lot. So that ate up. Just these three ate up so many of our points already. Uh, biofuel expert lacks the skills to do so. So you know how to make it, but you lack the skills. Okay, so I'm assuming, yeah, you can learn stuff as it comes out. Let's get cat's eye for you guys. Um, let's get... I also would be good. Let's get fast learner. Really, we're just gonna try to survive here, so... Let's get Brawler. Um, get Runner. Let's get... What if I get Baseball Player? That increases that even further. Let's get Wakeful. Um, let's get... Four points left, huh? Okay. I guess eating less regularly would be good to have, huh? All right, we'll go with this for our guy. These are our positive traits, all that. And you can see we have uh, some ability and axe, fitness, long blunt, kind of a bad boy. But we're really clumsy, so we're gonna be just having a bad time. I'm not going to save this or anything. So let's go ahead and randomize. And we're going to be Howard Pearson. Just a random guy. Although I think we're going to change his uh, shorts for jeans. There we go. And then let's give him... Uh... That's fine. No script. All right, next. Oh, there's no settings I can change, huh? Okay. I was expecting to go into the uh, like settings and change the zombie spawns and, and stuff like that, but but I guess I can edit them while in game. But this is like a pre-created sort of thing, right? So yeah, let's see if we can survive even like a, a day. We might die to fire if I'm an idiot. I think the plan is going to be get out of the burning house get to a nearby house and then loot stuff there what the hell are we gonna load into guys oh okay what do we got here uh let's just take this stuff i have a belt on surprisingly nothing in there okay nope can't walk around that way nope oh fuck we are uh not doing all right. We need to find something to patch up this wound. Possibly some tweezers or something as well. Uh, what about in here? A pencil, I'll take that. Screw it. Um, one over here. Hunter magazine, that's not gonna help at all. I really don't have any way to go but outside, I guess. I remove the glass with my hand. Ooh, we got glass in our groin? That's not good. That's really not good. Fuck. Oh no. If I remove the glass with my hand, I'm just gonna end up... Fuck. We might just die right now. Yep, I think we're gonna die, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! If I start a new character, does it uh do anything for me here? I don't know. You know what? Let's just uh let's just grab thick skin. 
we're gonna spawn like the same way or is it gonna be different okay perfect yeah we spawned in the in the same house which is actually not great we have to go to the desktop not the desktop the thing here then i don't know why i was like oh yeah they're gonna you know Give me a new house that's going to burn down. But I guess that wouldn't make sense since it would just keep burning down your houses, right? Oof. All right. So let's let's um let's not take a bunch of negative stats. And uh let's try that again. We'll just we'll just start with thick skinned <clears throat> at first. Don't need to make it harder for ourselves when we're already like new to the game. Johnny Canada. I don't even know why I changed the guy's pants since, uh, well, you don't get pants. <laughs> Idiot. All right, so now, now that I know what we're going into, um, we need something to, like, bandage ourselves with. Something to remove the glass with. Um... If we could find tweezers and stuff, that would be ideal. If we can get into, like, the bathroom, for example, that would be really how we want to do it. So we'll search the kitchen cabinets quick. All right, well, we got muffin tray and uh, muffin tray, and that's it? Okay. Uh, what if we go... I guess I can't go in there. Shit. Can't go back that way. Um, I guess the only way we can really go is outside which out this way there's nothing but let's get away from the house because it's attracting zombies so if we can sort of escape from them and just get to excuse me get to the neighboring house we can then maybe You know what, maybe we can take one or two zombies here. Let's see. I say that, but then there's a bunch of zombies now. Man, how do I do this? Oh man, just run. Let's get to that fence. If I can get to the fence, I can just climb over it and get away from them. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Can I even get over the fence, though? I can. Yes. All right. Um. There's so many zombies. How do I do this? How do I do this? They can probably lunge at me, too. Yep. That one just lunged. I don't think I can. I, I do not think I can actually do this. Um. Maybe I can't play this game, though. Huh. I just, I'm not sure what I could do. Like, survive. Getting to a nearby house doesn't really help me. It seems like there's zombies everywhere. I can try to, like, run through these places, but... All that's happening is I'm just getting the zombies like together. Now I'm infected and stuff. Also, I am holding down shift to like run, but there's like nothing I can do right now. I'm gonna have to try to get the zombies over here. Maybe it would be better to get the glass shards out first. I don't know. Do you think I can get into this house? For even just like a moment. The window's open too though. Well. This is not what I wanted to have happen. Let's just check what happens when I remove the glass shards. Oh, so I can remove glass shards, but, uh... Well... 
Get away from me! Okay, so, um, we can remove the glass shards from our feet. Good to know. Good to know. It's all about trial and error. I, I thought when I've tried to remove glass shards from my feet uh, previously, I would cut my hands. I needed tweezers, so I guess what we'll do is we'll start a new game. And... I wonder if there's any trades that could help us out with uh, surviving here a little bit longer. Rather than, like, thick skin, like... Hmm. Moves faster when highly panicked. That could help. Um, because we could be moving a little bit faster. What else would be good to have here? Let's see, what are some other ones that are, like, just really easy? Um things to grab. I probably don't want slow healer for this. Restless sleeper, why not? That's an easy freebie. Um, smoker, sure, why not? Prone to illness, yeah, we're probably going to die anyway. Um, weak stomach, yeah. Okay. So then, if I can get... We get fast healer, that'll help us heal up quick. Um, what about inconspicuous, graceful? Like, what else do I have that I can get to make my self like better here? Maybe I get outdoorsmen since we're naked, and if I go outside, I won't be affected by like the cold and stuff. Right, does that make sense? I don't know. Uh, why not grab Sunday Driver, and that way I have two more points so I can grab something else here? Um, how about... Grab that. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time there. Let's play as, a uh, Orna? That's an interesting name. Lorna Snell. Why not? Maybe our problem is we're stoning as a, as a, as a guy. First, to remove the glass shards from our feet. All right. Next, first, let's check the. Uh... Oh god, that's a lot more fire than a uh, usual. Shite. Give me these. Okay. And then we'll just remove the glass. Shard. How do I actually get past this? I'm gonna have to go through the fire. Um. Yep. Can I, like, get on the ground, or... And that didn't help me out, but... Let me check the map real quick. Where are we at? So there's, like, no houses, like, nearby. This is a shed? No, it's just a bunch of trees. Where are all the zombies now? What is this game sexist or something? It just sees like a woman and they're like. Let's rip that up real quick and then banish this wound, please. Although, since it's a deep wound, will I still be getting uh, damage from it? Oh, hey there. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave you. And I, I cannot tell if I'm taking more damage or not.
Uh, we're gonna have to go out this way, is what I was gonna say. Open the window, what are you doing? I'm through right now. Close that window. No, don't climb through again! No! Why would you do that? I think that was our best spawn so far. To be completely honest, like, the way that we actually managed to bandage ourselves was just mwah, amazing. Right? Although, I don't know why there was so much fire there. I think our main problem was the fact that the fire had spread more than it should have. Because I could not get past the table any other way other than going through the fire. So, that's just weird. All right, we had that. Um, graceful and Oculus. Resilient, less prone to disease. Hmm. Okay, let's try to get that. So let's grab schizophrenia, which uh, you may hear sounds that are not real, may find hard to sleep, uh, tied to your stress level, mental instability. Yes, and plus just a you want illiterate, can't read books. Good. Let's not do that then. And then let's grab strong, and we'll trade that out for slow learner. And then we'll get, uh, let's get another one that's like an odd number here. So, weak stomach. And then we'll grab four points, huh? Do I have cat eye yet? I do. Four points, let's see. You know what, let's get lucky. It must be Lenore Trout. Ugh, man. You know, I was at least expecting to get, you know, to a place where we can relatively safe here at first. I wasn't expecting, like, just complete and utter death right when we spawn, right? So I think what might have messed us up last time and caused the fire to spread is that I clicked too early here. I clicked before I saw the uh, click thing. So I think game time was starting before I had even clicked the button to start, which uh, may have been what was the issue there. Let's grab that. Anything in here? No. Anything in here? No. Okay. Go ahead and move the glass before we head outside. Glass is gone. Let's get the fuck out of here. I think if I can go like around in a wide arc here. I don't think you saw me, but I think you heard that. Ah, fudge. You know, if my leg wasn't like screwed right now. I would beat your asses. Okay, I think we're gonna have to go north to the uh, fence here. Wait for him to come over, and I go over. I have a fucking katana in him. Losers. A lot of you. Ugh. 
Those zombies just, like, sprinted at me. Okay, we need to get something to bandage this wound with. That window's open, but there's glass shards below it. Fuck. This window's open, though. Close the window. Not gonna last me very long, though. Come on, you bastards. Get away. Ah! I'm dead. How do you do this? Because just remaking the same thing over and over again is really just not... Just ain't it, chief? Especially since it takes like, what, three, five minutes, something like that, to back out, create a new game. Like, it would be one thing if I had like an idea of what I was doing. All those deleted real quick. Nice. The other ones I was playing were... Took me like a long time to delete. Maybe since I don't have much progress in them. Alright. Let's give it one more good old college try. Let's actually... Uh, think about this for a moment here. What's Night Owl? He's alert to everyone sleeping. Doesn't really matter. You know what? If we're a burglar, that means we have better sneak skills, right? Let's get everything that we uh, we're gonna need to hopefully sneak away from the zombies here. What all would help us here? Get night vision because we can just tag on a bunch of things here that we want and then narrow it down. Light-footed and nimble, let's go with that. Mm. I don't think first aid would help much, would it? Faster and stronger constructions. Whatever. Uh, Hunter would be good. That would give us an extra thing in sneaking. All right, now let's start adding on stuff that uh, will help us here. Illiterate, schizophrenic, mm -mm. slow learner, um, smoker. Prone to illness. Screw it, disorganized. Alright. Rock and roll. We're gonna choose... Uh, Joel Rance. Now. It looks like my, uh... My, my theory that if I click too early, I'll be screwed. It seems to help there. Because I didn't click too early. But uh, let's see how it goes this time around. Maybe it's like random how far the fire spreads. But it seems like going... Maybe you just have to get really lucky with RNG and get like a rag or something out of the... Uh, the kitchen. See, the stove isn't even like on fire now. Muffin tray. I think this room is all engulfed in flame. Yep. We gotta go past here. Real quick. Over to the door. Remove the glass shards. Cap. Or does removing the glass shards, like, cause me more issues? Do I, like, bleed faster since it turns into a deep wound? Or, like... 
How does that work? I don't know. You guys just not. Well, that's a fucking another wound there. Oh my god. Why am I so slow now? Okay, we're not doing this challenge. That's uh, what I've learned. She's, she's a rather surprisingly long amount of time getting on its own. Yeah, I just don't know what to do. Um. <clears throat> It just seems like I'm getting... Like if I had tissues or something to like silence my... My sneezes and coughs or whatever. That'd be one thing. <clears throat> but... The issue I'm running into is that I'm just screwed. What if I just go new character? I'm just curious to see, like, what happens here. So I do respawn. I have some jeans on for some reason. Is anything in the house, like, left at all? I already have a deep wound, so I guess that doesn't matter. There's a hole there. What if I manage to get out of here? What do we have in, like, these? Plaster, folding chair, a hand axe. I guess we could use that. But it doesn't matter really too much. And by now all the zombies have gone to other locations now. I guess we can try to kill this zombie. And then, uh, I'll just take all your stuff real quick. Thank you. Building when I'm walking, huh? Yep. More of you guys down here? How? Damn. Couldn't even survive after the fire went away. Okay. <clears throat> At least we killed one zombie this time, y'all. Alright, yeah, I think, uh. <coughs> I think I am done with this challenge. There's just no way I'm gonna be able to do it. I'm uh, either not that good of a player or I'm just doing something stupid or I'm just having really bad luck. I don't know what, but uh, either way, just not a good time. Yeah, uh, we might try another challenge uh, next time, but I think We've gone on long enough for this video, so no no happy ending here. We might retry that challenge another time when I get, you know, better at the game. But I guess let's just look at what other challenges we have. A storm is coming. Um, winter is coming, I guess. Which, I guess that's just, you know, winter. It's going to get, like, really, really cold. We have Kingsmith, which is, like, an island, which I suppose we could do that. I think next time let's try the Kingsmith challenge or whatever the heck it is. We'll see how that goes. But uh, until next time, half an hour.